Aries, are you ready for it to be all about you? Because this is all about you. Aries, this is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. Thank you so much for all your support throughout this year. As we enter into next year, I want you to know that I know that you have been a significant part of this journey and the growth of this channel, and I am extremely grateful for you. Have a happy, 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 happy holiday. All right, Aries, let's get into your full Oracle card spread. Remember, there's a link to the extended down below where we'll articulate and extend the message with tarot cards, a full tarot card spread, as well as draw the romance reading. Um, there's also that romantic tarot and the um, new moon in Capricorn reading that you should check out too. There will be links either floating above my head or um, at the end of this video to both of those videos, okay? Aries, this is for Aries sun, moon, and rising energy, Aries, for the next seven days out. So for the next seven days, this is an energy that will serve you. You can apply this wherever Aries influences your natal chart. If it don't fit, don't squeeze it but it's definitely applicable to anywhere in, uh, Aries influences you because this is Aries energy. It's not just specifically for Aries uh, um, sun signs. FYI, Aries, Aries for the next seven days. Energy for Aries for the next seven days. Let's see. Energy for Aries for the next seven days. Energy for Aries for the next seven days. It feels like everything is happening all at once. A really big, like a... Um, heavy burden um now it's come out okay yeah time to let go trust a great mystery and make your dreams real you are on the precipice and you're being called to take the leap of faith so um you're scared that's the truth you're scared to take the plunge and i feel like this is because maybe you don't necessarily trust your surroundings or you don't feel completely and totally in control of the situation. And that would be true. You're not completely and totally in control of the situation. There is somebody who is weaving a web. There is somebody, and, and maybe you want this to be you, but I don't feel like it's you. There is an energy of, there is an energy of other people influencing you or talking to you. Maybe this is like grandparent energy. Maybe the energy of family and ancestry and inheritance, like inherited a sense of responsibility that's causing you a great burden, that's making you afraid that, like, for example, if you have karmic patterns in your family, if your family has a history of divorce or you have a family has a history of long-term but dysfunctional relationships, there is this energy of this past, what's rooted, what's underneath the surface, really eating your heart out and making you feel afraid to take the plunge. There is also this energy of something that you have not dealt with, an issue that's been growing steadily and slowly over time. Maybe it's that feeling of the noose coming around your neck and feeling more and more and more that what you have gotten yourself into is cutting off your air supply. This is um, this feeling of diving into emotions but having to hold your breath to do it. So not feeling completely and totally comfortable with all that feeling. Um, this is also diving deep into what has been making you feel this way and finding a way to learn to uncover this truth and understand what has in fact been making you afraid and keeping you from taking that plunge. There is an energy of feeling manipulated. It's almost like you feel like somebody is trying to pull your strings or, or that they're trying to be the ones in control. So there is a little bit of a, a feeling of vulnerability here that you don't like. There is a sense of not being completely and totally ready to make a deeper commitment or um, attachment to some opportunity or some person. Um, there's also this energy of feeling like you're, like feeling like somebody is, trying to trap you like like li literally trying to trap you and get you stuck and take you into the, their web and the world as designed by them um and you don't really like this this is also karmic patterns though there's this energy that because spider is also grandma it's grandma energy 
So there's this energy of family patterns and maybe a toxicity, like I said, that's lasted for a couple of generations. Aries, let's get into this. And that's your crowning energy. So let's get into um, the rest of your reading. Maybe you're just hurting inside because you don't have parents or grandparents to go and talk to. A sense of you don't feel rooted or you miss now, there's a lot of things that are topsy-turvy here. <sighs> there has just been heavy energy floating around here. All right, let's get on with this reading, Aries, because we gotta dig in. Surrender now, You're, you don't want to. It's almost like you are the moth that identified the flame and you're flame flying in the opposite direction. You're like, nope, not today, son, not today. I feel like you have, you, but see, this is still feeling. This is still a feeling. I don't, I feel like you've identified a trap that's not necessarily a trap. It's not necessarily set to trap you, but it is making you feel like you're being sucked in and you're refusing, you're pushing against the grain. Yeah, it's about your independence. You're starting to feel, like I said, that noose circle around your throat, Aries, and not feel really good about the direction you were headed and now you wanna turn back because you feel like you've lost yourself. You feel like you've lost that funness, that playfulness, that energy. It's almost like maybe the person that, Maybe the people or person that you're dealing with, and this could be, of course, all energies here could be vice versa, but there's a sense of not feeling like yourself, like feeling like your independence has been stolen from you or taken away from you, or that you're about to lose your independence and you're about to crash and burn. And so you want to, you want to hightail it in the opposite direction to defend yourself. It's like, well, this is like almost like stick in the mud energy. This person isn't fun. This person is codependent. Have you become somebody who isn't as, you know, it's like maybe you don't recognize yourself anymore. You see yourself becoming somebody that you don't recognize or really understand or even want to be around. You don't like that energy or a person that you're with has become this, you know, has become this kind of stick in the mud, kind of like, no, I don't really want to do anything right now. And that feeling of like, wait, what? Feeling like, like suffocated, like your air supply has been cut off. Um, not really understanding how to deal with the situation. This card came out right on its side, which means there's indecision here. An inability to see into the future or see that there is a future for who you're dealing with or what you're dealing with. Um, and then spirit has your back actually feeling completely and totally vulnerable and like spirit does not have your back. Um, this is, I fought the law and the law won. So this energy of feeling almost like the gavel has dropped and the judgment was not in your favor. This could actually be with a lawsuit too, or something like legal matters that did not go your way. It's almost like they couldn't, they didn't get the information that they needed. They didn't get the information that they wanted. And this is or, or that they needed to really make things work out for you. And the bottom line is it's gutted you. It's you're pissed off about it this week um, because you're finding this information out areas and you're like, you, you, it's, it's, it's accentuated and magnified the, um, the unfairness of life because this is a treacherous and untrue win. This is a win that was undeserved by the person who won it. This is a... This is like justice in reverse. This is also like government or institution. This is a very Capricornian energy. This feeling of wanting to break free because it's not fitting you. It's making you feel like you're trapped and hung up by your feet, like you can't fly anywhere because you have so much expectation pushing down on you. This could very well be the energy shift that's happening here up in the cosmos. Jupiter has shifted into Capricorn season and you feel it especially because you feel that gavel of Capricorn energy come down and say, but you're expected to do this. It's like you can't step out in front anymore and take credit for being this productive person because that's actually an expectation. You don't like people setting expectations for you. It makes you feel unfree and it makes you feel controlled. It's not necessarily that somebody's trying to hurt you. It's that the circumstance doesn't suit you right now. Take time out. There is a tendency for you to be extremely defensive this week. 
um, or for you to feel like you need to defend somebody. But there's just this energy of defensiveness that's coming on hard and strong. And it's almost like spirit is getting in your face and say, Aries, you need to count to 10 before you talk to anybody or say anything. You need to stop, drop and roll kind of thing. You need to exhale. And if that means take time out, like take a break, take this weekend off your relationship, you know, take this weekend by yourself. This is you, spirit is demanding that you retreat because there is an imbalance. There is a feeling of being out of control and about to pop off Aries. And that energy <clears throat> is, is, could threaten, could threaten the safety and health of things that you actually really care about. Um, this is also mama bear energy and considering you have that grandmother energy there too, this is an energy of maybe feeling overprotected or there being too many expectations placed on you by your family. But there's also this energy of, no, I feel like you're sticking up for and defending yourself this week because you just need a little bit of space. Spirit has a plan and he sees things from high up this is meditation this is take time out as well this is remove yourself from most of society sit above it try to gain a higher perspective on it that grounded perspective is not working for you right this taurus energy isn't working for you 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 need to get higher up you need to actually get your feet off the ground and and hang out in some trees in other words, get a higher perspective, take more time off or get further away from what is causing you all the stress this week, Aries. Watch and wait time to collaborate. You're still trying to vet whether or not you want this relationship or you want or if this is going to work out. Um, this is also the energy of somebody coming through for you to help you, to help you in terms of do your work or to, or to support you while you do it. This is also the energy of watch, wait for, um, wait, wait, hold on. Oh yeah, you need some time out. Pisces energy has come up here. It's very emotional. It's balancing out your emotions. And Aries, you need that energy right now. It's time to collaborate. I want to elaborate on time to collaborate. You could be dealing with, it's, it's, it's actually time, I feel like it's time to collaborate with your own emotions. Because right now they're a little, they're being a bear and they're getting out of hand. Yeah, you're getting punchy. Co-create with spirit. Oh, that's funny. It says time to collaborate. And then who are you collaborating with? Spirit. Trusting your intuition and divine guidance, believing the message that you just received because you just received a message, Aries, and you didn't believe it and you're trying to fight against it because it makes you feel unhappy and it could even break your heart. So it's almost you being told you're going to have to find a way to do this. What is your truth? Because that's what Raven energy is, is truth. And the truth is coming out. It's coming to the surface. And your grounding energy is learning how to work within the truth. And I feel like most of that truth is your emotional truth this week. Your emotional truth is you're not ready for where you are right now. You're not ready to move forward just yet. You actually need to back up a little bit because you're feeling, you're feeling suffocated. Hold on. I'm going to turn the camera around so we can review the cards. It's interesting energy, Aries, because it's almost like, what is the truth? What is the truth about your collaboration? What is the truth about the work that you've been doing? Um, are you satisfied in it? It does, it does it connect you deeply to your spirit? Does it satisfy your spirit? Does it satisfy your soul? Does the work that you're doing or the relationship that you're in really satisfy your soul and make you feel like you are what you're supposed to? I feel like there is a, wait, I'm not ready, I'm not ready because you're actually unsure. You're not certain about the energy of this relationship that you're in. It's making you feel like you wanna pull back a little bit. You're gonna to need to pull back a little bit. There's this, this is the energy of not wanting to make a commitment, not wanting to make a long-term plunge, not wanting to do it, of feeling like somebody is literally feasting on your heart and waiting to trap you. Trust the great mystery. I'm gonna go and um, I'm gonna go and clarify all of this 
with tarot. Um, this card is, is really uh, surprising me, and I think that there's a lot of truths that still need to be extrapolated from this reading. So I'm going to go clarify it with tarot. We'll also do your romance reading. Aries, I will see you guys over there.